If I can have your attention in the media center and up in the press box, we are now joined by the runner-up for today's 60th annual Daytona 500 whoop here whoop. at Daytona International Speedway. And it's none other than Daryl Wallace Jr., driver of the number 43 Click and Close Chevrolet for Richard Petty Motorsports. Not only was Daryl the highest finishing Sunoco rookie in the race today, but he's also the highest finishing African-American driver in the great American race. A second place finish. Besting the previous mark set by NASCAR Hall of Famer Wendell Scott in 1966. Bubba, that was a, a wild race out there. Wild finish. Walk through this final laps for Stay us. Daytona. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I got, I got lost out there. <laughs> Man, you did that thing, baby. Like we just won the race. Hey, we did. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> we, we did win that race, baby. Mm -hmm. We did. I love you. Thank I'm you. so proud of you. Thank you. Love you. God dang it, Mom. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Mom. Come on now. <sighs> I'm going to talk like this. <laughs> All right, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I was going to say walk through the final laps, but forget the final laps. Walk through just the emotion of this moment for you right now. <laughs> oh. It's, it's, it's a sensitive subject, but I'm just so emotional over where my family has been the last two years that I don't talk about it, but it's just so hard. And so having them here to support me is... Pull it together, bud. Pull it together. You just finished second. It's awesome. I just try so hard to be successful at everything I do, and my family pushes me each and every day. They might not even know it, but I just want to make them proud. And second is horrible, but it's still a good day. Um, but yeah, I just, I just love my family and having everybody here from my mom, my sister, my uncle, everybody here just means a lot. Next question. Get me off this subject. 